What's going on world? I'm George Kill of FanDuel and I'm here with my guy Tom Leander for the second time, this time to see an amazing Phoenix Suns arena. You guys have it all here, man. Yeah, this is a palace. I know we were at the practice facility first when you and I first met, but this place is spectacular. About a year and a half ago, they opened this up and the fans have come pouring in. The stage lighting inside, the LED boards, the bars. It's not going to be hard to find a drink while we're touring this thing. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Does a drink come with the tour? Uh, we'll talk about that, yeah. <laughs> Here we have the FanDuel Sportsbook. It's the first sportsbook inside an NBA arena. This thing is massive, 7,400 square feet, has an outdoor terrace as well. You can enjoy Suns games while placing bets on the action. So if you feel like Chris Paul is gonna have more than 13 assists in a game, this is where you go before the game. Also, it's open year round. It has five betting windows, a VIP window, HD televisions, there's 40 of those to watch sports action and then 26 self-service betting kiosks. Now, Tom, this area right here, I hear this is for the high rollers. This is the high roll, although I don't know if I'm considered a high roller, but if you know people, you can get in here into this MVP room in the FanDuel Sportsbook, and I mean, the most comfortable chairs. I mean, we got the video screens right in front of us. This is where you can really relax. Um, if you don't want to be with the, the crowd of people out there that are hooting and hollering, you can do it here on your own. And it's got chairs, specialized chairs with Charles Barkley's number on it, number 34, and even one for Diana Tarazi, number three. You could spend an entire day here, even on an off day for the Phoenix Suns. All right, George, as you can see, I mean, this scoreboard, brand new, six times larger than the old one, all new audio. And we talked about the theater lighting to have double layer of suites. And even if you have a seat upstairs, you can come down here to one of the public bars, grab a drink and watch the game from basically what feels like a suite level. So Tom, I'm hearing this spot used to be a basketball court. This was the Suns practice court. I mean, you even have the key and the free throw line here. So this is where Charles Barkley and Steve Nash and Devin Booker, even his rookie year, this is where the Suns would practice. And now they've turned it into basically what's become a speakeasy. It is the premium club here at the Footprint Center. But also they have what is 700 square foot LED board. So you can watch the game while you're in here. It doesn't get any better than this when it comes to premium clubs. Food options galore in this area. Mm -hmm. Something for everybody. We're up here on the upper level and it's a fries eatery. I mean, you have the Airstream and so many different selections up here, affordable selections for all the fans. And the Footprint Center is all about sustainability and trying to rid ourselves of plastics. So they're implementing a lot of that up here in the eatery and the different restaurant choices. 